Pitcher Cemetery in Kansas City, Missouri. Right on the edge of Independence, Missouri. Established 1830. Beautiful day out today. So this is part of the Santa Fe, Oregon Trail. That's cool. Oregon, 2,147 miles. California, 1,986 miles. Independence, 8. Santa Fe is only 921. Huh. Cool. That's interesting. It's kind of a nice park. Trails. It is 1830. Pitcher Cemetery. Cemetery and snow. This last little field, the finished man. Gone but not forgotten. Huh. I wonder if these old stones are originally a mausoleum. August eighteenth, eighteen fifty five. George, son of G. W. A. L. Hinckley. Born 1849. Born 1849. Oh, poor guy. He only lived to be six. Looks like something, some kind of stone. Originally a mausoleum with an iron door. Wow. George W. Hinckley. Born 1810. Died. 1977. So I wonder if this is where the obelisk was, it looks like. Stones. In memory of Revolutionary War soldier, Leadstone Noland. Born 1750. Wow, died 1839. Wow. Colonel Smith's 1992 Harry S. Truman Chapter Sons of the American Revolution so this was put in 1992 it was quite a few years ago even then huh. oh, all that one says is HG I wonder if it was a baby or something Henry Glasscock, board buried right by the tree. Nice place to be buried. First mar marriage, Morgan Pitcher. Second marriage, Eli Glasscock. Huh. Really interesting. There's a stone, somebody put a flower by. So they're just unmarked though. It looks like just a stone. Well, that one's been broke. That's 1914. Can't even read that one. Uh, it's almost completely deteriorated. You can barely read this one even too. 19, uh, 1822 to 1900. You can see that much. Kathleen M. That was a that's a headstone. That's a headstone that's been broke off. Wow, look at that. 
Can't even see. There's, that's not even legible at all. Fortunate, a lot of this has been vandalized. You can tell that was a headstone. This one's unlegible, but it says Harley Dunham, born 1855, died 1856. Oh, 7th of January, 30th of March. So he was one year and seven months old. Poor little buddy. These ones make me wonder. That almost looks like it was a headstone at one time, but I don't know. They definitely look like they marked a grave. Here's a stone right here, actually. It's buried under the grass. That marks a grave. It says mother. It's definitely unlegible. It's an old one. With a sign. Let's see what this one says. Can't read that. Is he in Da? Died. 1871, aged nine. Oh, poor girl. No time on her, she spent. Oh, look at that. Stone is just so deteriorated since 1871. I mean, she weighs 150 years, I guess. It's a stone that has absolutely no writing on it. Oh, I see. Bishop. Sign's gone. Totally unlegible. And it's loose. Some more stones. Just regular stones. And Here's one that's been desecrated. Interesting. Oh, look at that. There's even one way back here. Bertha F. Florence, February 24th, 1888. So it only has one date. I wonder if she was born and died at birth. Here's a stone way back here, too. But and it has flowers. Put these flowers back up, somebody obviously put it through the it's a little better. A little tiny stone there. I tell there's a mound. Stone there. Oh man. Common grave. Cholera epidemic victims, mid 1800s. Gee whiz, common grave, huh? One way back here. Some stones. Common grave, Civil War soldiers killed in skirmish during Independence Retreat in Battle of Westport, October 21st, 1864. Fix it up a little bit for him. I don't know the difference, but well, very interesting. Old cemetery, I thought some people might appreciate. Tiny, but Thanks for watching.